In this lecture, we will see the efficiency of the power amplifiers. Since power amplifiers draw a large amount of power from the supply voltage, their efficiency proves critical in most applications. For example, in a cell phone, a power amplifier delivering 1 watts to the antenna may pull several watts from the battery, a value comparable to the power dissipation of the rest of the circuits in the phone. The power conversion efficiency of a power amplifier that is eta is equal to power delivered to the load upon power drawn from the supply voltage. Thus, if the cell phone is supplying a 1 volt of power to the antenna and it is taking a 3 watts from the supply volt then its efficiency will be nearly equal to 33.3 percent. In this lecture we are calculating the efficiency of the push-pull amplifier. We have to follow the three steps while calculating the efficiency of the push-pull stage. These are first of all we have to calculate the power delivered to the load. The power delivered to the load that is we call it as P out. Then we have to calculate the power dissipated in the circuit components. For example, the output transistors we call it as P circuit and then we will determine the efficiency which is equal to P out upon P out plus P circuit. Now let us compute the efficiency of a push-pull amplifier. In our previous lectures, we have computed the average power for a push-pull stage as PAV is equal to PP upon RL into VCC upon pi minus vp upon 4. We have computed this in our last lecture. Now here we have seen that the efficiency is equal to p out upon p circuit plus p out. p out we can write it as v square p upon to R L upon again here P out we can write as V square P upon 2 R L plus P circuit. Here we have computed the average power for only one transistor when only Q1 was on. Now for considering the two transistors we can write here <coughs> P circuit as 2 into V P upon RL VCC upon pi minus of VP upon 4. This P out it was a sinusoidal waveform we assume VP sin omega T. So and the load resistance was RL hence P out was equal to V square P upon 2 RL. On solving this, we get pi upon 4 Vp into that is if Vp is nearly equal to Vcc, then the efficiency reaches a maximum of 78.5% which is equal to pi upon 4. A much more attractive result than that of an emitter follower and for this reason the push-pull stages are very commonly used in applications like audio amplifiers.